Hi guys, welcome to my new series of Bhagavad Gita Explorations. For those of you who haven't seen my Bhagavad Gita summary, you can access it on the link above. This is my first painting in about 25 years and I'm going to use this experience as a beginner to explore both artistic and spiritual pursuits. The painting itself is a replica of an image I found online some time ago. For those of you who don't know, the subject matter here is Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna is an human avatar of Lord Vishnu, who is one of the three main gods in Hinduism, which is Brahma, the creator, Vishnu, the preserver, and Shiva, the destroyer. Between these three gods, they complete the cycle of life. All of these gods have their highest nature in one supreme entity called Brahman. I go into more detail in the link below, and I'll explore this more in upcoming chapters. So, before I started this painting, I bought a painting tutorial of Domestica. I'll put a link in the description below. This helped guide me through the process. I put the reference up on my computer screen and I sketched it out directly onto the canvas using a charcoal pencil. I then washed a diluted blue acrylic paint over the drawing. I also used a wash of red over the lower area of the face across the lips. This just gives the background some variance in color. It's also to cover up all the white of the canvas and to provide a waterproof cover over the original drawing. This wash was transparent enough so I could still see the drawing underneath. Next I filled in the base colors for the main sections of the painting, the face, the lips, the peacock feather, the flute, the garland, and the tilak. I then used a darker color to fill out the shadow areas and the main outlines of the drawing. I used a variety of textures in the background with the paint applied using a few different sponges. I did use an acrylic medium in my paint. This helped to thin the opacity of the paint down while still giving the paint enough of a creamy texture which makes it easier to work with.
I mixed up a lighter batch of blue to use over the brighter areas of the face. To finish off the background, I used a soft sponge to apply a smoky type of pattern using a white paint straight off the palette. Final touches were the white highlights over the nose, lips, the flute, and a few other areas of the face applied with a thin brush. And this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you are a more experienced painter, let me know what I could do different. Please do like and subscribe if you want more of these. And hit the notification button so you're the first to know about new uploads. Thank you.